channel I'm Shani if you guys didn't know and today I'm going to be doing a final review on this Peruvian straight hair if I'm not mistaken that I got from Beauty Forever and I'm also going to be telling you guys and showing you guys how I maintain my leave out because I am natural if you guys didn't know I've been natural for about three or four years now so let's just go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna start off with the specs on this hair then I'll move to the review and then I'll show you guys how I maintain and straighten my leave out and all that good stuff how I wrap it at night just stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so I have in the Peruvian Body Wave in the inches 20, 22, and 24, and I do not have a frontal on. This is my leave out. I personally like how sew-ins look with leave out instead of a frontal, so that's why I have my hair left out. It just looks more natural to me, and I like the way it looks. And obviously, the hair is straightened out. So I've had this hair in for about exactly two months, or it's almost two months. And honestly, I really don't have anything bad to say about this hair at all. Right now, it's a little greasy because it's been straightened for a while, and I put some of my frizz dismiss stuff in it, so it made the hair a little greasy but it's still flowy but what I did notice about this hair is when it's time for it to be washed of course it's a little dull and the ends start to get tangled but but it doesn't get like tangled to the point where it's in knots it just gets a little tangled to the point where you notice it and you're just like oh let me let me brush my hair or let me wash my hair so that's what I noticed like the ends of it will get a little tangled but it really doesn't bother me at all either I just wash my hair or I just brush it because sometimes I do go without brushing this hair because I'm low-key lazy with this hair it has started to shed a little bit um when I washed it I noticed that it shed it a little bit but it wasn't like a whole bunch of shedding not a lot not it's not dramatic like oh my gosh the bundles are falling apart no you just notice that it's shedding a little bit um, and I do do a lot to this hair. I, I wash and straighten this hair probably every two to three weeks depending on how stiff it is <laughs> because when it is time for me to wash this hair it doesn't have too much movement because it has oil in it and it's dry and yeah it just needs to be washed. I think Peruvian is my go-to hair now. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. But I really like this hair because it's long but it's not super super thick and you guys know that my hair isn't really thick at all so I didn't want to get thick hair and not be able to do it because I'm not used to doing thick hair I'm used to doing thin hair so I wanted to get some hair that was long but not too thick and hard to manage so this hair is definitely up my alley okay moving on to the tips that I have to keep your leave out straight the biggest tip that I can give you guys is avoid moisture and steam at all costs when you're taking a shower don't take a long shower like you're gonna have to cut them showers in half if you take a 20 minute shower no you, you can't do that <laughs> especially if you have natural hair and it's very sensitive to moisture it's going to puff up your hair is going to be frizzy and right now my hair is a little frizzy but you know it's not that frizzy it's not noticeably frizzy like oh my gosh I need to like wash and straighten my hair again being in places where there's a lot of moisture you're just gonna have to avoid those places if it's moisture outside I would make sure to put like frizz dismiss stuff on my hair the two that I use is frizz be gone and you guys have seen this before and I also use frizz dismiss as well which you guys have seen in my kinky curly to straight routine so yeah, I still use this on my hair and I also use this one as well because this is what they used on my hair when I went to the salon to get my hair professionally straightened. So I picked this up and I got this from TJ Maxx. Yeah, I found it at TJ Maxx. So yeah, those are the two items that I use to keep my hair, you know, laid and not frizzy. Also to straighten out my leave out, I do the same thing I do when I straighten my hair. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the cards or down below in my description box but I do the same exact thing I just do it to my leave out and I just blow dry the rest of the hair so all the products are the same when I straighten out my leave out I still use the Redken shampoo and conditioner and I still use the deep conditioner honestly I feel like this deep conditioner has saved my hair from so much damage because I've been straightening my hair a lot probably more than I need to but every time I wash my hair my curls are still there so I'm just like it has to be this deep conditioner or the fact that I just take care of my hair and use good products in my hair so this deep conditioner right here is going to save and help 
your hair stays strong throughout all the heat that you put on your hair um, and I still use the Redken satin wear as well all this stuff is in my natural curly to straight routines so make sure you guys watch that video if you guys want to know how I straighten my leave out and keep it straight because that routine right there is the reason why my hair doesn't frizz up too much so make sure you guys go watch that video because it's going to help you out a lot um, and also these products they just come through for my hair so make sure you guys just watch that video okay oh and some of you guys asked about how do I keep it straight without heat damaging it do not straighten your hair every single day that is the worst thing you could ever do to your natural hair like don't do that straightening your hair every day putting heat on it every day is no so do not straighten your hair every single day you're going to damage your hair if you do that okay that's just it like I said I probably straighten my hair every two to three weeks or sometimes I straighten it once a month it just depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going, where I have to be, who's going to see me. Yeah, all that stuff. It just depends. Like, sometimes I just don't really care about my hair and I'll just put it in braids and leave it like that. So, do not straighten your hair every day. Okay? If you feel like your hair is getting a little stiff or you feel like it's too frizzy for you, just wait it out. Give it three weeks and then do the same routine and you'll be good okay that's how you avoid the heat damage and make sure you know invest in some good products oh another thing about this deep conditioner they did not discontinue it y'all i've seen some of you guys saying that they discontinued this but they did not discontinue it they just put it in a different bottle so i'll link that one down below but girl no they did not discontinue it if they did i would have been upset i almost forgot to mention this but another thing that is going to help keep your leave out straight is wrapping your hair at night this is crucial you have to do this you cannot go to sleep without wrapping your hair girl like this is not gonna work and you want to make sure when you're wrapping your hair that the top of your wrap is flat it might take you some time to get your wrap perfect and get the top to be flat but do what you gotta do if you gotta take it back down and do it over even if you're sleepy like sometimes I'll be sleepy trying to wrap my hair and that's why I have to do it over and over again until the top is flat but you have to do what you gotta do you gotta make sure the wrap is perfect so in the morning all you do is comb it down and you know you'll be good okay oh and another thing you want to make sure you're using breathable fabric to keep your wrap into place when you tie your head whatever you're using make sure it's breathable it needs to be breathable because if it's not you might sweat in your sleep and you'll wake up and your hair is going to be puffy when you took all that time to straighten your hair okay so use breathable fabric okay so in the morning you're not going to have to do too much whether it is taking the wrap down or taking your flexi rods out or taking your rolls out you're not going to have to do too much to your hair at all you probably just don't have to lay your edges and be out the door and that's it do not put any more frizz dismiss or frizz stuff in your hair at all because that's just going to make your hair get oilier and oilier and your hair is going to start to look stiff and it's going to be stuck together and it's going to lose its movement and then you're going to have to wash again so do not put any more oil in your hair you shouldn't have to but if you absolutely need to then go ahead but just don't use a lot Alright you guys, so I think that's it for this video. I think I told you everything that I can tell you and show you. If you guys have any more questions for me, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. But make sure you watch the video all the way through. And also check the description box because sometimes you guys be asking questions that I've already answered in the comment section or in the description box or on Snapchat or on Instagram, you know. So hopefully you watch the video all the way through. And if you still have questions, you know, just go ahead and leave them down below and I got you. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this hair. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.